god, I can hear myself. My own ears. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah. Oh no. Ew. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Looking weird. I don't know what I'm doing. I hate listening to myself. Gross. Gross, get that shit out of my ears. <laughs> get that claptrap out of my ear holes. <laughs> I don't know. Life is strange. And die. Oh yeah. I don't know if my tweet go through. I need to check. I need to check. Okay. Okay. Someone unfollowed me from on Twitter from because I posted a going live tweet. Oh, weenies, baby. I hope I sound okay. <sighs> oh, woo. I think I sound nice and crispy, but... <gasps> bark, bark, bark. Hold on. 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 Ah! <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know I don't what know I'm doing. doing. You know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Dog song, I love you, dog song, I kiss dog song, I'm before. Right. Oh, game loud? Oh no, game loud. Better? Game less loud? Open glory for the Gertia. Hard to tell there's no intro playing anymore. There. Oh, we're still Santa's. I can't change out of Santa's. Is that the core from the Saras Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. I looked but she said she oops. wasn't too good at lying after all. Biddies? What are those? Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
having fun. To discover Playing with my GoXLR. It was bad for the world. After well and <coughs> years of research, I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Dog, may I give you a kiss on the forehead politely? Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it in a respectful hers, manner, I would have to do something about it. And perhaps a little bit horny. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll send it to you via PayPal. <laughs> but I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <laughs> Forget what Ooh, sample. <laughs> oh, that's not good. weren't so complicated. Boobs. Hey, mood. A gay daughter? Uh, are you gay daughter? Oh yeah, there's a gender slider. I don't know what this does. I have a gender knob. Wait, don't all cis men have a gender knob? And that's my head taking out of context. I could have just blasted anyway, hello, Ellie. I, I, I would also like to give you a polite kiss on the forehead. Hmm. Provided I have consent, because I'm a respectful woman. I kiss all my friends politely on the forehead. Boobs. Is fucking asleep. <coughs> Whenever Poppy whines nowadays, I I just reply to her squee wee wee, because that's what she sounds like because she's cute. Are you thinking about Judy? Uh, are you not? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. She's a twaitol. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. So, 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 she went around blowing up machines because it turns out that those things were like destroying the planet or something. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah. Maybe if I become a little more. Decisive. Thinking is bad for you. Man will listen to me too. Thinking is bad. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Belius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon. So the same thing doesn't happen again. Oh yeah, we have a we have a flying sky whale now. I've always That's thought that it was my duty to know. Flying sky whale. But after what happened to Pelias, I want a flying sky whale. I charge a bomb to get on it, and then I'd be a millionaire, and I'd enjoy my wealth. And then, unfortunately, my friends would have to eat me because eat the rich. 
That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? You, you learn things, Yuri? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Wow, amazing. Yuri, like, uh, literally everyone else on the planet. Literally everyone and everything in existence, he, in, in existence, he learns things. Except maybe Elon Musk. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. She took someone's life, Yuri. I really wonder. <laughs> That's kind of a fucked up thing to say! And she's ruminating over the fact that she accidentally killed someone. Don't fall. Eh. Eh. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? Huh? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Why are you past your prime at 35? What Judith was talking about before, Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. If that person was still using the Blastia, even though he knew it Ooh. was harmful to the Earth, someone <coughs> like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Old oh, man, don't tell me you... Hey now. Yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. And now he's bisexual. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> huh. I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? Never. Acting your elders for the... the buys or oh, not for buys i missed someone oh i didn't my tracking sure is having a moment morning yuri morning it's a beautiful morning but even as we stand here the air is out of balance how do you balance air? And our world may already be dying. How would you weigh air? Wait. Technically, aren't all scales wearing, weighing air if it doesn't have anything on it? if you have those like two sided scales if there's nothing on either side weighing air that's right judy well look who's feeling better in the past and the slight uh, fluctuations of the like air have not negatively affected our world It's a very important question. Can, can you weigh air? There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Intelikea. So the Intelikea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Intelikea have regulated the air. Oops. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul. I forgot to get water. My life. 
The path you walk. Now some would even hunt the Intellikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intellikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intellikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. Is this what climate change is? But if that's possible, there may... I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Is this climate change? Just tell us all this from the beginning. Is this climate change? I don't know things. Seriously, we could have avoided all stupid, this trouble if you just talked. I'm not to stupid. Us. I'm not allowed to say things about myself anymore. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Baul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Baul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen. It was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. Oh. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain I made a deal with Pharaoh. And he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... Murder! I would kill her. Murder! You what? Wait, Rita! Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. I hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands, I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear. Also, is the sound okay? Me. Is everything okay? Do I sound okay? Do I look okay? I always look okay. <laughs> but please try to understand. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have to. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. And take responsibility for who I am. All right. Ah. 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 Someone, please tell me if you can weigh air. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. Fucking finally! <laughs> we can work out the rest <laughs> once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. She fucking knew this whole time! <laughs> Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. And the prince's little leggies are just waving about in the air. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces. So you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He look <laughs> Yeah. He'd sink like a rock. He's a bit too big. It huh. Who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. 
If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Baul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call. Baul's. Every Intellikea has a special region All in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power. Huh. So we can get a hold All of using that. Sky Whale. Honk. Right. If we honk at the Sky Whale, it will come for us. That's not a horn. Sky Whale. We have a Sky Whale. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Sky he Whale! As scary as he seems? Sky no, Whale! Scary. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. Alright, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intellikea. Here's hoping we don't wind extraordinarily up gay. Of Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, <laughs> there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. Okay. Let's change out of these clothes. Into school uniforms! I refuse to take off Patty's stoop. No. <laughs> no. Small boy. Dog, 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 dog. Beloved. <laughs> I love every dog. Especially my own. He's got a little stick in his mouth. I am flying to where I'm not supposed to be. I never imagined you'd be able to speak with the Intellikea. Well, I use a Christian technique to do it. Wait, do I detect a little jealousy? Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <laughs> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I, I love every well dog. Out, I don't know if he understands me. I think he feels the same way. Every dog. Oh yeah. Prok. So this is where Pharaoh is? Should be. I wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert, but I think this is where we can meet him. I hope nothing bad will happen. <laughs> what if he suddenly turns? <laughs> I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. Just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? 
No, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Climate change! Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him? Even though you could be killed? Yes. Gay. I've already made peace with gay, the decision. Gay, 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 gay. Gay, 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 gay. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Gay! Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? Well, she's been making that clear hear what he has to say. for a long while. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. The gaze. Gaze upon the gaze. Gaze upon the gaze. Gaze upon other gaze. <laughs> Oh, maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. <coughs> Pharaoh, Crook. you're here, aren't you? Crooks. <gasps> Insipid poison, you appear before me at last. Murder bird. Murder bird, so murder bird, 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 for what reason have you come to me? Surely you are the one who could end your existence with a better thought. Better, better, better. Better, better. Murder. Murder. Murder bird. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? I'm going to murder the murder bird. I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Murder bird. Estelle! <gasps> Hi, Elise! I can't save right now in the middle of a cutscene! Also, how do I sound? Do I sound beautiful? Ah! 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 I have sound effects! And. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Oh, he finally <laughs> asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. <sighs> Rowan? Jude, there are times to play it cool, <laughs> but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then you will never know bazongas. You have to want it, Jude. You have to need it. <laughs> then teach me about bazongas. <laughs> I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <gasps> teach, teach me about, about bazongas. bazongas! Whoa! Don't go shouting things like that! Don't scold him, Leia. I read about this in a book. It's called Puberty. We're supposed to be understanding and supportive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate us. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. Does anyone else think that Alvin's acting kind of weird? Alvin's always weird. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot which one is which. 
I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! <laughs> Does death hold no fear for you, little one? I'm so sorry. I really need to trim that. Itself. Teach me about bazongas! Hey, I'll teach you. At least we'll teach you. More afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. As Joe the the slime child. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. You understand are my I density. To the Entelechia, but you said that I am a poison. Teach what now? Oh, you know. Teach me about bazongas. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated. Kitty soft and warm, old cold and Then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me. I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crane. Oh. So there was an air crane here. You know what I like? Girl! But what happened? Adult girls! Adult women! What you see are the results. Preferably older than me. Hi, boring, depressed introvert. I have a mix of now. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun playing with my mixer. <laughs> As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. This is a mean bird. Clearly he is a goose. Or a swan. Because he's a mean fucking bird. Huh? Lastia converted <coughs> her into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this so you know what I can also do? Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air. <laughs> I have a sensor beep now. Which causes the air crane to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then I... It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. Climate change metaphor. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just mean bird. A little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? Mean fucking bird. This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. Also, how is everyone? And nothing would be unparalleled falling. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. 
And again at Dawngrest, I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. Apparently that sounds bad. As a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm. Not sure I understand all this, but if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. So she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. She is not like Ablastia. I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. Listen, Pharaoh. I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind, but why doesn't that world have a place for Estelle? It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. The, the conflicting feeling of knowing that Troy Baker is into NFTs and also finding his voice acting as Yuri Hart. Uh, ah! Why? Why must the man who voices my husband into fucking NFTs? You forgot they designed Yuri for Yuri Lowenthal and but then realized they It's not that, it's... It's, um... There used to be, like, a, a rule, air quotes, that, um... Voice actors could only voice one Tales protagonist. So they didn't design Yuri specifically for Yuri Lowenthal. It's that uh, Yuri Lowenthal had already voiced uh, Luke von Faber from uh, Tales of the Abyss. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence. Although the same voice actor has voiced party members in multiple Tales games, the, I don't. I think it's that they can't be the protagonist twice. So Sam Regal, for instance, has been in this in Tales of Vesperia, and he's he was one of the protagonists in Tales of Exilia. He was a small boy, baby boy. Teach me about bazongas. <coughs> Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith. And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. You should have no complaint with this. Hey, Judith, are you serious? I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I... um... Yeah, yeah, of course we will! No score one for Judith. So that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. Nice! You have changed. If you were still as before. Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever Oops. mindful though that time is fleeting. Oops. Yells. If the formulas are causing the excessive air. The gaze. There must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product 
of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any of can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. He's gone. Bye bye. <laughs> um, I. Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith. You too. No problem. But hey. What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. Man, Dang, really here he is like all of my friends who tell me not to be so hard on myself. Uh-huh. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. Maybe. What are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air's causing. And that's all. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm -hmm. It's and time to solve climate change! One. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we Let's solve climate change, it might give us and a clue. This girl's unlike it. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the p or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Timza, and the birthplace of the Kritya. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? Cool. You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. I just, I, I just feel a desperate need to kick Raven. There was a Kritian in Ospia. Kick Raven in the I'm tummy. Sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Sudden growing. Making food, I don't like. <laughs> Make something else. I won't take this bullion. Okay, no food for you then. Oh, that's <laughs> like, but you don't see us complaining. Live with it. You should be thankful. I stopped reading to come here and eat with you, you know. An unbalanced diet can lead to an unhealthy body. I'm done growing. I can afford a little lack of nutrition at my age. It's gonna get fat. Pete's making fun of you, old man. He says you're a disgrace to humans. You're the oldest one here. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No way. I'm a poor excuse for a grown up. <laughs> Sheesh. Listen to Same. Me. You're terrible. Samesies. I am I'm also, also a terrible, terrible excuse, excuse for growing up. I don't know why people let me become a grown up. Uh, it, it shouldn't have happened. Filling out the map. Ooh, we could go back to 
hometown. The place where we started. Oh, my, my, my face froze. My face okay? Yuri, you like cooking, don't you? I don't know about like. Why? We've been making you cook for us all the time and you haven't refused once. Quiet, Estelle. We don't want <laughs> to stop. It's all right. I noticed. You don't mind? Isn't it a lot of work? I used to cook for myself when I was living in the capital. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but you don't really like it? Well, it was better than having to eat dangerously awful stuff every single day. He meant well, but he didn't realize how bad he was. This was the only way to stop him. <clears throat> you got my condolences, Yuri. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> this cooking is nothing compared to this stuff. Trust me. I'd like to meet someone who could make food like that. It's like looking at a scary monster. I'll pass on the food, though. You already met him. They're talking about Flynn. Flynn's a bad cook, apparently. I am also not that good a cook. I think it's just lack of practice. Ooh, all the... All that nothing. Six digits! Of currency! Thought if only that would... Happen in real life. I want that for me in the real. I want money. I want to kiss girls, but I'm too shy to talk. Really? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. <gasps> Old lady! <gasps> Kitty! 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 Hi, ADX man. I I. I got, I got myself, myself a, a sound, sound mixer. mixer. <laughs> I can go. Day. <laughs> Day. <laughs> the gaze. She meows. Meow. I am also a gay meower. Estelle, read to come back. I, I don't. I don't. <gasps> I don't want Patty in my party. The gays? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's Gay cat lovers. I'm a gay everything lover. I mean, I'm pansexual, but... I also like cats! At least I remembered to save. Hey! Hey! someone from the fucking royal quarter would insult repeat all cats are gay and meow except our cat she did a distraught level meow of all disaster just before i changed <laughs> her box okay a poop box uh 
A scoozy? This man is... Excuse me? They will, they will not, not survive, survive the revolution. revolution. Cats! 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 The gays. The gays. Gays upon the gays. Hey, do you mind if I have a gel? Carol, I don't really think you should eat those unless you need them. But I can't stop thinking about how good they taste. Or the smooshy way they feel between my teeth. I noticed we've had fewer gels lately. You've been snacking <laughs> on them, haven't you? I want them so badly I can't sleep. And here you've been eating them while we weren't looking? I haven't been doing anything like that. Wait, Rita, you were losing sleep over <laughs> gels? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're not snacks, you know. They might be small, but they're pretty expensive. I can't say I like their taste or texture very much. Perhaps they're not too pleasing to a princess's palate. No, that's not it. I don't think they're that good either. I'm addicted to their simple taste. You just don't get <laughs> it. Gels were made sweet and soft, so they appeal to children after all. Are you saying my sense of taste is childish? What's the matter with that? You are both children. Yuri is a princess. He's my little meow meow. You know? You know what I mean? Dogstrong is a they them princess. If you'd like to be a princess. If you don't mind that. <laughs> he, he also has prince. Stylish ponytail. It's just her regular outfit with a ponytail. I am not wearing the belly that bike. <laughs> I like this outfit though.
Wonderful. I'm going to give my dog motion sickness. Also, do do dog. Help. Uh, help. 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 Help! <laughs> That's not help! That's not help! Small child. <laughs> also, dog. You like new bonk? New bonk just dropped. <laughs> Yuri? Y Yuri, ki Yuri killing the... the, the, the Tax collect. <laughs> In fact, take a look at all of the emotes. My my live two D model mama uh, drew them all for me. And told me your favorite. My favorite is. All of them. Every, Every single, single one, one of, of them. them. <laughs> Bread. <laughs> Misses, you're five. Yo, 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 five. Huh? Technically, his mum is the. <laughs> that that makes sense. I will move on. <gasps> Apple gel. Also, zero context translation. <laughs> All that stuff about the balance of the world is pretty hard to take in. Yeah, I hadn't even been outside the capital until just a while ago myself. And now we're here talking about the fate of the world. You never know what life will bring you. But isn't that what makes it interesting? I don't think we can afford to be that relaxed anymore. Estelle doesn't have much time left. What's the harm? It's not as if acting all serious is going to solve anything. Besides, Estelle will notice if we look all worried. Well, maybe so, Gay. but... We won't forget what Pharaoh said. Gay. Relax. I know, it's gay, just... gay, 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 gay. If we get too down about this, we won't be much... The gays. Here. Rita and Estelle are gay. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, Siri has sold some of all. Look at this fucked up building. If everyone's gay, how how can he? Be? He's bisexual. Is this game gay? The the. Not explicitly, not the words aren't used outright, but Rita's definitely got a big, gay, big old gay crush on Estelle, the pink head girl. There are gay elements. Hey Yuri, where in the lower quarter do you sleep? <gasps> it's not under a bridge or something, is like it? Like a troll! Mm. Alright, so where did you live? I stayed at an inn after I left the Imperial Knights. The innkeeper is really nice and said I could stay there if I didn't have anywhere else elements. to go. I'm finally starting to get a real image of you living in the lower quarter. Yeah, I could just see you bumming around down there. <laughs> Gee, thanks. You, you you missed gays chasing after a, a, a lost cat. <gasps> Dog. Dog. <laughs> your your favorite gay? She loves cats. My tracking is having a minute. Giant space whale! Gaze on a giant space whale. A giant space... Well, not space. Sky whale. It's been another long Gaze day. in space. Let's gaze in like space. Uh, Sky I gaze. Huh. How long has it been since I've slept in a proper bed? You slept in a proper bed literally last night in Yuri's house. Well, I <laughs> suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait. There's something I want to take care of first. The frog wants to take care mm -hmm. of business. Carol. Frog. Also, how do I sound? Best for us not to get in. Echo. 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 Ghetto, ghetto. I've thought about it a lot. You sound cute? What we should do, like, as a guild. Uh, 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 uh. No, you! <laughs> in... Anyway, anyway, in the Japanese dub, Carol is voiced by the same voice actress as Sergeant Frog. You know, I hate... I've heard your voice live and in person. And I can say... Adorable. And I realized we have to figure out a few things if we're going to keep this guild going. It sounds like you've decided what we should do. I can go. Ah! We said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. Prok. So, uh, frog say a frog saying this, and it's like doesn't match the the drama of the situation. 
Rip it. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes. So what I'm thinking is... I think... I forgot water. God damn it, I forgot water. We all have to receive punishment. Huh? What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. Strict punishment! Rip it. Rip it. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. He... Yeah, he murdered... Two people. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... <laughs> so you gotta be punished too. Now <laughs> stretching it. He killed two people. They might have been horrible people. <laughs> the laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. Fashion up. True. True. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust It's not murder if it's bloody hand it. There's nothing you can True. do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. But you've got me interested, I'll give you that much. There's no need to be such a stickler for... <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you're just full of surprises. I thought plenty about myself Completely and what I should be doing. Doing my absolute best to ignore Patty's existence. But I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I'm just... <sighs> I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. Why... why is... Home button on my pro controller is glowing for some reason. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asperia's. <laughs> Sounds all right with me. You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met. But I suppose I can manage to put up with you. <laughs> all right then, one more time. Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. Brave Vesperia. Do you want to join too, Patty? Can't right now. Oh, yeah. So, what about the punishment? Oh, yeah. I Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh, they're like the, the the elf people. Like Judith. They don't they don't all have but bazongas though. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! I mean, I've, seen, I've definitely seen Can bigger anime titties than, uh... This whole time about what to do with Judy? Yeah, it was pretty much all I thought about after we left Nordopolica. That... And... Wasn't... The subject of bazongas in space. Wasn't there like a, a an urban legend or something about George Lucas telling Carrie Fisher to not wear a bra? Because they don't have bras in space. 
So, so she like... Or like bandages on her chest or something. About what you did to Rago and Kumor. Really? Oh, back the bounce. It's nice to hear you thought about me that much, even when I wasn't around. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first what was right, what was wrong. Is that I think real? I have the dawn to thank for setting me straight. Without the dawn's last words, I never would have found answers to the questions I had. You gotta stand on your own two feet. Yeah. I was thinking about what that meant. I mean, it's not like and we before I could ask it, the woman herself. I was about what was right. I was thinking about what I want to do. And that helped you decide what to do with the guild. Yeah. So here's to fresh starts. Yeah. To fresh starts. Is there a Snopes article or something? Mind you, it would be really weird if George Lucas had said that to a 19-year-old Carrie Fisher. Here he is. You're searching for me, Arzo. Seventeen. That's worse. That's the name of the city that they tell location. And even if I knew, I don't think it will be of any good to tell it to. So he won't talk to us. He he won't talk to a non Christian. So we have to walk around as Judith. Good day. Good day, my sister. Judith. I'm Tort. Tort. Tort, Tort. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Tort, 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 Still a really weird... Still a really weird thing to say to... To, like... To any woman who you're on, like... In like a basically a boss subordinate relationship with I need to know where Miorzo is located and how I can get there even if you reach the city there won't be anything for you to see there but what do you plan on doing there anyway is not a Critian's interest in her own ancestral city reason enough to go that is an acceptable reason but I'm afraid I don't know anything about where it could be I've heard your name before, Tort. You help guide tort. those Critians remaining tort, on tort. Earth up to the heavens. I... I mean, if a woman doesn't want to wear a bra, that should be her own choice. Or even just a boob haver in general, sorry. Boob havers can choose whether or not to wear bras, binders, Sports bras, anything that uh, holds back the jiggle, supports the, the goods. Will you not tell me because these humans tort, tort, are with me? Tort, 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 our ancient tort. law states that we cannot show anyone but our brothers and sisters the way to Miorzo. No. Oh. Shouldn't it be a matter of whether they can be trusted rather than whether they're Critian or not? At the very least, these humans can be trusted. I shall ask once more. Why do you seek me, Orzo? The world is headed towards some bad things, all thanks to Blastia. We want to go to know what happened in the past and how we can stop it. Man in a tummy shirt! Man in a tummy shirt! Man in a tummy shirt! We want to help everyone, not just the Critians. How's that? Very well. I do not know if you're and in a tummy shit, man in a tummy shit. I will show you the way. First of all, you'll need a special bell to open the path to Miorzo. A bell? Indeed. It is hidden in one of the southern caverns on the continent of Hippionia. But isn't Hippionia really big? The cavern is on a shore where red flowers bloom. If you use that as your guide, I'm sure you Abs window, it. yes. I love, I love the good, the good old, old abs, abs window. window. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> also, the door in Why the do people the like me? <laughs> can only be open to ah! us Critians. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't worry. Should I just use my my new sensor beep button whenever I do a really bad pun? What 
are we supposed to do with that bell? Relax. You humans are always... Abs, automatic belly system. Once you have the bell, you must travel to Egathor Forest. The Egathor Forest? <laughs> Isn't that on Hippionia too? I've heard of it before. Yes, the sacred land of the Critians is located there. So that's where the door to Miorzo is. If you use the bell there, the door shall open. Fancy elves. There is, however, a problem. The, 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 the... What would you call those on their head? A problem? Yes. Egathor Tentacles? Forest is being devastated by a mysterious group. In addition to their overwhelming numbers, they also carry with them strange blastia. I cannot fathom their motives. But this is certainly a matter of great concern. So if we go to Miorzo, we have to do something about them? Exactly. We need you to restore peace to our sacred land. Gotcha. So we get that bell, beat the mysterious group senseless, ring the bell, and the door opens. That sound right? Indeed. I understand. Thank you. May the road rise up to meet you, sister. And you as well. Let's go back to where everyone's waiting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't bad, Carol. I have to say, I really didn't expect to hear that again. Come to think of it, Judy doesn't ask about that at all. Oh, should I? Would it be a problem? Huh? Well, even if you don't ask, the answer is still clear to you. I'm not sure about that. Even so, you're still you and I'm still me. If our paths are the same, I'll travel with you. If I didn't think they were, I wouldn't be here. So everything is clear to you, see? I'm pretty oh. sure what I'm thinking is clear to you as well. Is it something like people who choose the same path think alike? That skit confused me. Hello. This one's called Odd Tune Music. I don't know what I sound like. Maybe I should. Maybe I should, um. Uh. <laughs> We've got I don't like listening to my own voice as I'm talking. I'm pretty sure it's on the west side it weirds me out. To the south of here. So, Mjorzo's in that forest? No, but a door is. Huh? A door? What do you mean? There's a door there that leads to Miorzo. We were told the bell that opens the door is hidden in a cavern on a shore in Hippionia. It'd be fastest to just go and check it out. First, let me rest. Perhaps we should get some rest before leaving? Choice. I don't snore right, anymore so though. For, like for real, for real. Treasure. I used to snore before I had my tonsils taken out. Hey, hold it! You should really. Jeez, she's gone already. Anyway, once we've gotten some rest, let's go look for that cavern in Hippionia. Everyone's my dog snores and my puppy. My puppy snores as well. And there's where Rita's books books are kept. There's special books. I like how these stacks of books are just like a special books. 
that apparently gave Estelle a big shock when she looked at Find any clues about the Maristella? This wiggling, don't mind me. Hmm, there were a lot of books, but none of them were about Eifried. Well, duh, this city only has books about Blastia. Oh well, looks like I'm just gonna have to keep searching for clues with you guys. Did you just say Eifried? Huh? Hey. Hello. You, you that girl they've been saying is Eifried? So, you neither admit nor deny it. And I guess it must be true. Interesting. So you're the grandchild of that bastard who disgraced the guilds. <laughs> you just look like a regular brat to me. Hmm. Why don't you say something? Can't even defend your own grandfather? Oh yeah, I guess that's something no one could ever defend, huh? Considering all the nasty stuff he did. How can you say such horrible things? How? Well, because it's the truth. Hey, wait! You guys must be Sirens Fang's newest guild members, right? W we're Brave Vesperia? What a funny name. What kind of a guild is that? W well, it's, uh. You see. Why? You're gonna give us some good jobs if we tell you? I don't have any jobs to give shady thugs involved with Eifried like you guys. Brave Vesperia, huh? It's good for nothing trash like you who have been tarnishing what it means to be a guild. You're the good-for-nothing trash who's been tarnishing the name of the city. Y you You're... It looks like there's a lot more vulgar pieces of trash than the last time I was here. Jeez, it'll be a real new... They repeated in the bag. with you. Bag all the, the fucking tolls. <laughs> Brings me joy. Wait! Oh, was there something else you wanted baby. to say? Baby! All dogs are babies. No. Mm. I would I'd like, like to, to decree that all, all dogs, dogs are, are babies. babies. So, so it has, has been, been decreed. decreed. <laughs> but what are we gonna do? I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna spread rumors. A dab. You didn't see it, but I dabbed. I don't care. If that's the kind of thing that could destroy our guild, we would have been finished a long time ago. What about the dogs that are horses? Also babies! Every dog! Just let people say what they're going to say. I... Wasn't our destination a shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom? Ah, yeah. Then let's get going. Mm. I, I, I do own a literal baby dog. But also... What if... <gasps> Double pipe! That dog is smoking two pipes! That's very dangerous! Oh no! Excuse me, dog sweat is smelly, babies don't sweat. They smell of the... Dogs pant to get rid of the sweat. Hey, 
Anyway, let's get out of Nerd City, where all the nerds live. I felt like I was gonna sneeze, but I didn't sneeze. <laughs> anyway. You're going to the over here. Not over here. This is too... It's not the place where we want to be. Ah, there it is. And that was pretty easy. <coughs> we can only get to it by boat. Look all the flowers. This is it, right? Pretty flowers. It matches the description Tort gave us, but. Tort, Ashore in Hippionia, where red flowers tort, bloom, tort. right? Or maybe Tort tricked you guys. <gasps> Either that, or we came to the wrong place. Or tort, tort. Wait. Or tort, tort. I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! Big bada boom! It's open. What kind of a nasty person does something like that? Perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in. Whoa! You're really gunning for old Raven? Sometimes you can be so mean, Judith. Uh, What's wrong, Patty? It's nothing. I was just a little scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? <laughs> you really are a kid. Patty's 14. <laughs> Look who's talking. If you're scared, you can wait here. I'm fine. I'll go with you guys. I'm still in disbelief that Patty is 40. Anyway, Straw Hat Pirate. Uh huh. <laughs> she's a pirate and she's wearing a straw hat. I don't know if that's like a deliberate reference to One Piece or anything. One Piece or what? Who knows? <gasps> a chest! Anchor circlet? Ooh. Saying she won pe what one piece. What are stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. <laughs> ha! Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. Huh. Even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. <gasps> There's something written <coughs> <up> there. <laughs> Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place, lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! And these are the graves of people who were killed by Eifried? Yes, but I had no idea there could be so 
No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. I can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows? Maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to me. What? <coughs> going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat. Take good care of Patty, okay? <laughs> so, so, like, it was like Patty's grandfather who committed a massacre, apparently, and that's like the grave site of all the people. Holy shit! That's a lot of graves, though. <laughs> Grim. Sundresses are acclimatized to horrible trauma. Oh, it, we found a, a sailor dress. Or a dress with a sailor collar for, for Patty. Looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right. We really did come to the wrong place. But there weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? Do you mind if I take a look at that? I did not sleep very well last night, but I am a sleeper. Be undone. It is odd. <gasps> Elf powers. The door. What? What did you do? Elf powers. Guardians possess an ancient power known as the Nagi. I used that power to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a critian. Now, let's go inside. Wizard elves. Elf time. You know what? Could this be the key for the door to Miorzo? It's, it's good, good for your elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were told it's a bell. That's a so cool bell. This has to be it. Got a little rock in it. Still, why is there a graveyard in the cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. Oh. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tort never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? Hi Silver, I'm I'm a maid today, yes, but I mean you'll have to pay a lot if you want me to call you master like the animes do. I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri, did Ifried really kill all those people? Maybe he did. Patty. That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all. Is a maid mom. It. Right, let's hurry back. Ten tier three gift subs. That's all I'm asking. Or if you're hot. Although I forget how much tier three subs cost. Pounds. 
and other currencies as well. <laughs> Thank you, Rapid. We got what we came for. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you going already? Cross Are you okay? Over. I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cipher. Can you come with us? Ooh. Could she be? Well, that was grim. Pirate graveyard in a remote cave. In behind rocks that we had to explode. On a coast with a load of dead flowers. Like blood. I'm in the ocean. I'm not wearing the appropriate attire to be in the ocean. I'm not wearing appropriate attire. Change in theory, but I would get bonked by me if I changed into a swimsuit. All we got to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I agree. I think Yuri, everyone would bonk me I if I put Yuri in his swimsuit. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. It's time for us to part ways. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? No, that's not it. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any it... more trouble. It's my... It's... It... It's more my reaction to the swimsuit. Even if you don't mind, well, I do. Patty. What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. <laughs> do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Probably not. Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. Hi. It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides, <laughs> you don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. Why? But we have a giant sky whale! Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. Why would we, we need, need a ship's, ship's captain? captain? To steer the ship? Steer the ship? Steer the ship? When we, we have, have a giant, giant sky, sky whale. whale. Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. Alright! It's off to Agathor Forest! We just gotta get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. Nope. Oh. Right. Literally right there. Giant Sky Whale needs a rest now. We love the gaze. We love the Giant Sky Whale. We are in the wrong place. <laughs> there we go. That's not the right place. I'm on the wrong end of <laughs> Oh hey look. we we compete in the Coliseum now. I just had a thought. In the Coliseum now. 
I would like to compete in the Colosseum. I know we killed your leader, but I would like to compete. I mean, it was uh, uh, killing the leader I think it was a bit of an accident. You know, but, uh... oh. Key brain peon. Oh, hey, it's that guy. He has no nipples. I like his big sword. I like the amount of big swords in this game. And there's a guy with basically the buster sword. Okay, kick butts. Oh wait, that's a that's a monster hunter sword. That's a mon hunter sword. Got it tough. He's got it tough. You like big? I I do like big swords. Haha. Uh -huh. Also, b bonk. Oh. Need to grab myself and bonk. He's got it tough! Oh. 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 I think Big Swords is a lesbian characteristic. I like big swords and I like big swords wink. <laughs> food. <gasps> that's not food, that's excess food. So much food. Egg. You, you will give, give me, me the, the egg. egg. Oh wait, that character is voiced by Wesker is voiced by Liam O'Brien, and we've killed we killed Liam O'Brien in this game. <laughs> he was playing the one of the fascists. That we that Yuri murdered. Horribly. 100 men melee? Ooh. Beat up a hundred people. Let's do the 30 man melee. Oh yeah, there's a specific attack of patties that I should show off.
That I don't have ex that I don't have yet. God damn it. <laughs> Cause not even slightly spoiler, but uh one of Patty's attacks is just honking a big old rocket on the ground and taking off. And she flies out of the uh ring for uh, and she just leaves the fight for for like five seconds. Gremlin screams. I hope. Oh, I've run out. I ran out of TP. I ran out of toilet paper. Ow. Hey. Dealing with the the magic. First, annoying. Ah! Wipe your hashtag. Wipe your bum. Wipe your bum, mum. This is And gambling. So we, we pick like lower or higher, and there's a chance of poisoning your entire party, which is dumb as hell. I'm gonna die. Can't run. I'm gonna die. Five-year-old, a gun. A child gambling mechanic. Ob yeah, obviously. Jokes on you. I love dying. I love dying. Nip. <laughs> hey, man. Sorry.
Fair enough. In theory, I could go on and uh, do a round of the Colosseum as Yuri and get revenge for Patty, I'm sure. But. <laughs> anyway. Yes, this this made outfit has a tummy window, and um, I'm legally not allowed to show the back of this outfit. Legally. <laughs> anyway, I'll I'll be here again tomorrow with Pokemon. Pokemon violence. I've probably committed horny crimes just simply by wearing this outfit. Who can I raid? Are any friends live? Friends? Beloved friends? Crime? Raid. Raid another VTuber. She's a hot dragon lady. The clown knows for some Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. I love you all. Mwah. Take care!